So the study I looked at was using an ultrasound imaging machine for biofeedback for a patient with postpartum low back pain who had had low back pain um, after childbirth and the pain was resolved and then the pain had come back in also with some hip pain. So it was a level four um, case study. It was one patient of a case study who had the postpartum low back pain and they, it used um, a certain ultrasound imaging machine that ran from 3.5 to 5 megahertz, um, although a lot of ultrasound machines are going to be different just based on their frequency level and it's going to allow you to see things at different depths of the muscle. Um, so this machine I'm using is just using um, a Terrasun ultrasound imaging machine and so I'm able to put this over her um, abdominal muscle belly and so I've, I'm putting the probe between um, the 12th rib and the iliac crest um, lateral to the umbilicus and so on through this machine on the image you can see um, the internal obliques and the transverse abdominis so during the initial eval um, in the case study the patient was instructed to do an abdominal drawing and maneuver in order to contract the transverse abdominis through manual and verbal cueing. So contract your TA by holding in your P. And so through this she can see the different layers of her internal obliques and transverse abdominis when I show it to her and relax. And so through this study they had the patient um, over time do the abdominal drawing and maneuver um, with different activities such as bridging, um, bridging while marching in place, while doing side planks and different activities while the patient had to contract the transverse abdominis at the same time. And then over time they found an increase in thickness of the transverse abdominis and decrease in low back pain. Basically showing that increasing the stability in the low back in conjunction with home exercises and different interventions with other things going on um, that using the ultrasound imaging to show the patient what she was able to do during the interventions helped decrease the pain and so therefore I would use this because the patient can see exactly what they're doing while they're doing it and that's it